prior to the NDIS, all the states and territories in Australia had a different approach to early childhood intervention services. So given that the NDIS is now a national scheme, there was a real need to develop a consistent evidence-based approach that would work for early childhood intervention services throughout Australia. So if there's concerns around a child's development, there may be concerns that they're not developing as we would expect them to, the family might be referred to what we call an early childhood partner. Children who are aged zero to six with a developmental delay or a disability may be eligible for early childhood early intervention under the NDIS. When we were told that Elijah was diagnosed with Down syndrome, we didn't really know what to expect and we didn't know what his needs were. I had a few concerns with certain behaviours he was displaying and I'd struggled for a while thinking, oh no, it's, it's me, I'm not handling it right, I'm not doing the right things. So I mentioned it to the maternal health people and they said, oh yeah, you'd probably benefit if we got you some help. I had no idea that he didn't need a diagnosis. I thought he had to be told that there was something specific. So to be told, no, you actually can get help was a big relief. When Leah's been coming round, she's with the Early Childhood Early Intervention Coordinator. We watched his behaviour to try to figure out why he was doing things he was doing. So um, he was having a tantrum and she explained, hold him tightly so that he feels nice and secure. It was something that never crossed my mind to do, but it actually really helps. He just wants to be, feel secure. Our experience with NDIS has been very positive. We feel like we have a really good plan for all of our future and that Elijah will grow and develop and be able to come, become independent in his life. It's had a huge impact. The whole household's a lot calmer because we'd bounce off him. We'll tend to do more things as a family now rather than Jagger being left behind or me just taking Jagger and nobody else wanting to come. It's kind of brought us all together again. It's really important to take a long-term view, that it is a journey that you're on and that you don't have to have everything perfect for your first plan. Because it evolves, you can have it reviewed if you don't feel something is right. But I think we found this year we've learned a lot and so for our second plan we were able to make modifications to make it better. I'd say if you've got concerns, definitely listen to your gut instinct. Go and speak to somebody sooner rather than later. Go and see your GP or go and see the maternal health nurse. Just speak to them, explain your concerns and they'll help you get the help that you need. As the approach starts to, to roll out across the country, there'll be opportunity for families in local areas to participate in early childhood, early intervention information sessions. So they'd be really good to go to, to get more information and, and to help them to prepare for that transition into the NDIS. And there's also some resources around getting ready to do a plan. So families can access those resources on the NDIS website.